Stop playing with me, y'all. I gotta get a pair. I gotta get a pair. Guys, these Nike outlets and clearance stores ain't popping off like they used to. So we gotta change up the format a little bit. We gotta hunt for like deals, like intentionally. So whether it's clothing, whether it's shoes, we gotta find something that's, that makes sense. So days of finding retros, shoe sitting. I ain't say it's 100% over, but ain't like what it used to be. Guys, small interruption. Do me a favor, go over to Instagram, IG, and follow Mr. Ball on a Budget. That's my new IG page. What I'm doing on that page is posting daily and also showing you guys what's in the building when I visit these stores live. So I'm in the building, I see some deals, I see some steals. I'm gonna post it live on stories or make a post about it on that IG page. So go ahead and follow that page. I really appreciate it. All right, back to your schedule program. So while I'm in here, man, let me show y'all what they got. It's not much, bro. These these aisles are bare and a whole bunch of cleats. But anyways, man, I found these Miami colorway of the Air Max Pre Days LX for 70 beans. That's not a bad price. I should try one pair on though. That's a size 11 and a half. So I might just try it on just to see how these actually feel. Several pairs. One, two, three, four, four pairs. On feet, man, I got the Air Jordan 1 Fly Knit Black History Month joint. Multicolor. These are dope. I think it's like maybe the second time I'm wearing them. I think these joints came out 2016, if I'm lying, 2017. Whenever the movie Black Panther came out, uh, this is when they came out. I know it was February of whatever year I just mentioned. Your boy's going back to basics, y'all. Can't get retros. Not much shoes are going on sale. So get in when you fit in, man. Buy what you like. I'm saying buy what's affordable and you make it work. Anyway, what y'all think about these though, man? Anyone y'all own any uh, game day joints? These are the LX version. Um, it's kind of tight though, man. This is a size 11 and a half. I would recommend going true, true to size. The comfort is okay. It's definitely not the most comfortable shoe I ever rocked as far as Air Max is, but it's okay. Hmm. Um, I should be probably seeing some B-roll right now. I actually put my heel to the floor on these joints, man. Uh, I held up, but you know, for comfort, you need both the forefoot and heel area. All right, child, so I'm passing on these, obviously. All right, child, so we're gonna comb over some clothing real quick. I did find some uh, basketball shorts. They're the USA basketball. They're going for 60 beans. These are size 38, so it makes sense that they're extra large. They're actually going by waist size, those shorts. These are $29. These are some Jordan shorts, 23 engineered. Dope. Triple X though. I think they're going for three beans. Here's some more USA basketball shorts in blue. The material is good, man. And I also like these all black joints. Nike and border at the bottom. Here's some standard length as well. This is above the knee. Good quality. They're going for 30. Now, I know you guys are not in Florida like I am, man. So y'all can't benefit for wearing shorts right now unless you're in the house. But it's always a good time to buy off season clothing, y'all. Trust me, it's a lot cheaper. Guys, we out here at uh, Bonlin. Just left the Nike outlet uh, clearance store at the Loop. I got a few things, man, so I'll show you guys that later. But we about to fall through this, this outlet and see what's popping in here. It's been a while since I've been to this spot, so let's make it. It's a beautiful day out here too, man. Nice and sunny. I think it's about 75, 78, if that. I don't know, I checked the the weather here shortly and i give you guys an update on how how beautiful it is it's actually 83 degrees in orlando today y'all and yes i have a crew neck sweater on heavyweight balling on the budget brand anyway he's about going to nike see what's popping no lines you could tell no stop playing with me y'all i gotta get a pair i gotta get a pair all right y'all let's do a once over in here i like these but they're never in my size nope I had to do a double take, yo. Yo, why the price of these went back up? They're 90 beans now. They used to be like 69, at least this colorway. This one's even more, this one's $94, that's crazy. So we can peruse through these aisles and see what else we can find. Oh, this is a whole new colorway for these joints to renew. The other joint had the Buzz Bunny on the tongue. Not those, some LeBrons. These seems to be, or looks like, or feels like it should be good outdoor basketball shoes. They're going for 120, it's pretty much the same price everywhere. 
Same thing with these. All black one, can't go wrong. 119. Multiple sizes in all three of them. And these joints is everywhere, y'all. <laughs> International Drive and now here in Violin. Multiple sizes in these as well. Look what else they got, yo. They got these LeBrons. These just recently came out. This is like a huge size too, bro. I don't know what size that is. Look like it's a 14. But unfortunately, they don't have my size in this. Maybe I still get it. And maybe I'll assist one of you guys for the pair. So, yeah. I may just do that. Oh, look, guys. Look what else they got here, bro. They got the Moabs. The ACG Air Moabs. Wow, this shoe sold out on Nike. Uh, I remember when this shoe came out, what, 2015? I think it sold out then. And it sold out when this released in 2021. Now they're on shelves in the outlet. They got multiple sizes here. Size 11's the biggest so far I see. Now this is a 12 and a half. I may cop. I may cop. And right next to it, you got another pair of the Air Moives in a whole different colorway. This was the second, maybe the second or third drop. This was the first release. I can't remember down the list what release this was, but they got them here and they have multiple sizes. They do have 11 and a half, they do have 12, few 12s, 13, etc. So this is the reason why I want to do a Discord or possibly uh, Patreon. So my members can benefit from shoes I see in the outlet. So more likely if I had it set up, these shoes right here, I'll probably get for you guys size and I will offer it to you guys in real time in my Discord group or my my Patreon. You guys will get an update while I'm in the outlet. You guys just notify me um, what size you wear. You know what I mean? You got to pay shipping too and I'm just going to charge you what I'm paying. So that's what I'm planning to do in the next few weeks, man. So stay tuned. So I'm in women's, yo. Women's got a whole row of Air Force Ones, man. We're going to start with this uh, Air Force One crater fly knit in pink we see this everywhere though 110 for those there's another version with that um i don't know what color swoosh that is orchid is that a color it's like an orange peach maybe light peach and here's another one man this is like a canvas material with a uh carpet swoosh pineapple on the tongue we're a funky color but they're here for 110 recyclable <laughs> outsole and then lastly they got the white one i appreciate it man with a cheetah print thank you bro Let's keep going. Okay. This is this is like a spoiled milk looking color. Like an eggnog. It's like yellow. What color is that? Oh, coconut milk. Damn, I'm good. It literally says the coconut milk desert sand sail. I'm not too far off. Uh, pink foam with a little uh, red block on the back heel. One tenth the price. And they got the Volt colorway as well with the white block on the back heel. Those are one ten. Yo, I can see somebody customizing these, bro. Oh, I ain't see the swoosh on the tongue. Okay, that's different. Multiple sizes in all three pairs. This is funky. 160 is the price for this joint right here. Multiple sizes in that. But yo, I'm gonna show y'all a shoe that I really appreciate, which are these. These are fire, man. Air Max 90 Quick Strikes. These are dope. These are dope, man. I like these. It looks like a what the Air Max to me, personally. They got a few sizes in them. Well, now nah, a lot of sizes, size 11, 12 is the biggest I see. Smallest is six, six, six and a half. And on top, five is the smallest. Damn, I should help the homie because his wife loved Air Max 90s, man. I was a cop a pair for her. Like I was stating, man, that's what I'm be doing, man. I found a way how I can I securely help you guys, safely and securely help you guys cop shoes, man. I'm gonna have to create a Discord or possibly uh, Patreon. And um, you guys will benefit from me showing you guys shoes. Only the loyals would subscribe, right? And then those people would benefit, man. But everybody will still get to see what's in the building, so you guys won't lose uh, my commentary and videos. I mean, you guys get to see it like everybody else. And they're going to be dropping, you know, within a day when I shoot. And you guys pull up and cop. But for the, the loyals who want to subscribe to that, that form, you guys can. You guys would benefit from cops and drops that I find at Outlet. And guess what? You guys can be paying the same price I paid. What are these? One six is the price. I do like these Air Maxes though, or Vapor Max, man. I would love to get one of these in men. I had a, tons of opportunity to do this, but I did it, man. So these are women, 200 the price. Wow, that's pricey. And you also got it in this colorway as well. Let's take a look at them. All right. Man, I wanted these in my size so bad. This is one of the shoes I missed out from last year. Guys, I know by the time you finish watching this video, or maybe you paused it already, 
because this is towards the end of the video. Those uh, those ones, it's probably gone by now. There's only less than a handful of size left when I got my pair. Anyways, man, we'll wrap back the crib. So I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, and we're back in the studio. <laughs> Yo, I'm not sure if I'm going with that name, but it's catchy, it's different, man. Comment down below if you was the person that created that. I forgot who you were, man, but somebody said call it the studio, the office space, that is. But anyways, let's get right into it. Here we go, big old bag, and we got a Jordan 1. Peep the label. These are size 8, not my size. And these are the Air Jordan 1 Army Rust. This shoe came out last year, May of last year, and I did not get it. I wanted this shoe. Here's the reason why, because I actually bought a shirt prematurely before these shoes actually dropped. It was an Air Jordan t-shirt, and I told myself, I'm gonna buy this shirt because I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna win these. I'm going to purchase these. And the release date came and went, and I didn't have this shoe until now, and currently this shoe is not in my size, but I'm still hunting. I may have a trade worked out for this pair and my size, or I can go to a uh, trade block and probably, you know, comb through that website and see if there's anyone who's willing to trade for something, whether it's this pair on top of something else or something else all, all together. But anyways, man, I definitely still want this shoe. There's no way I was gonna leave an Air Jordan 1 sitting on shelf, man. I had to pull up and purchase. So even though it's not my size, I still bought it. And probably I can offer it to one of you guys if I don't trade it in the future, all right? Uh, dope shoe though, man. You got the mint laces, mint tongue, you know, stitched on tongue, wing logo on the back heel, little suede back, and the leather. It's okay. It's not bad, man. Black outsole. I'm not mad at it. I did pay retail though, so 170, right? The price of uh, the new price of Jordan One. And lastly, bada, got the AC. Peep the label. ACGs, bro. ACG Moab. Now. Tinker designed this shoe, and it going for the price of a Jordan 1. The old price of Jordan 1 is 160. And apparently they named this shoe after a city in Utah called Moab, but they spell it differently. This shoe, they spell it differently. And I remember the first time I seen this shoe was the first time I saw Tony D2 out. Him and Mike Rich did a collab, and Tony picked this shoe up in that collab. And this shoe came out in 2015, so was that six, seven years ago? Seemed like Nike already hit that reset button, bro. <laughs> so they start reproducing shoes that came out uh, six or seven years ago, man. So that means the Penny Hardaways may come back. That means we should start seeing some Air Jordan 1 Chicago, some bands, Shadow Backboards, UNC. You know what I'm saying? The list goes on, man. Jordan Brand, help us out, man. Bring the Chicago ones back. We need that shoe. But anyways, I picked this up 12 and a half because it was the only size close to my size. 12 and a half is a rare size to get. So that's why your boy copped it. So I was talking to a Nike employee, man. His OG came up, he saw I had these in hand. Actually, he was in the aisle to be fair. He was in the aisle with me when I was looking at these. And he literally was going back and forth. Like he left the aisle, came back, left, came, like literally three times while I was recording in that short period of time. And um, later he was like, yo man, I copped this shoe back in 91 or 92, I forget what year he said. So um, he said he copped it back then. Nike said this shoe released in 91, so I'm gonna go with Nike. But the OG said he got it in 91, potentially 92. I can't remember, I'm not gonna change the story up to whatever he said, I believe him. Cause even though shoes came out in 91, you can still find them on shelves in 92. He said he bought it with his first paycheck. And he said it was October. Cause I challenged him, I was like, oh, what month was it? He's like, oh man, it was October. Cause I got my first paycheck. And I was like, yo, all right, makes sense, bro. Who's not gonna remember their first paycheck? And he said he bought these, man. So salute to him, bro, for copying this shoe. So it brought back memories for him, man. It brought back memories. So I believe this will be the third time this shoe came out. So if he's right, 91, Tony bought it in 2015, and now 2021. This shoe came out September of 2021, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, don't hold me to that. All right, I'm out of here, man. Do me a favor, follow Mr. Ball on the Budget on IG. On Instagram, I am posting daily and I'm posting in real time when I'm in the stores. So if you start seeing stories from me, most likely it's gonna be me in the store at that moment. So if you live in Orlando, you can benefit from it, of me talking about what I see, what the prices are, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, man. A lot of you guys already been commenting, send me DMs, messages, and I've been responding to everybody, man. So it's a lot of engagement over on that IG. So thank you guys who already subbed up. I appreciate it or follow up 
whatever terminology you use for following people on IG. But I thank you guys for listening to me. I thank you for watching this video all the way through. I hope you guys like my pickups. Let me know if of the two shoes of you to pick up both or one or the other. All right. Um, until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. You don't know my slogan because I don't use it no more. All right, man. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.